This is a tutorial about how to use first order models to animate an image, specifically the Bakamatai meme, but you can do more than that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, if you just want to make a Bakamatai meme, don't go through all the effort. Just post on the subreddit Bakamatai generator and a bot will generate the meme for you like this guy. Boom. Easy way. That's the first way. Now, now, the second way is to go to first order model demo on Google research. If you search for first dash order dash model dash demo, you'll probably find this. And you just basically go through this, add this folder to your Google Drive, which you need to do. You can manually uh, create it as well, like I've done. You need these two, which are, are in this. That's the main thing you need. Yeah, these two are the main things you need. Uh, you'll also need this uh, video right here. I'll link a uh, link to it in the description. And then your image. You call this video 04 and this video, or the image 02. And then just follow the steps here. Just run it. And the end over here, below sample data, I believe, it will spawn the finished image when you're done. Pretty easy. Downside of this is that you're on Google's thing, so you've got a limited number of resources. And since you didn't pay for it, trust me, I, I you probably didn't pay for it, uh, you might not have access to the GPU which uh, it takes way too long to do. I don't know if it'll even do it without the GPU. Be careful about using this one because you might not actually be able to use it reliably. So that brings us to the third way, the true Chad way, which is to run it locally like I have. So the first thing you need to do, download Python. You need at least Python 3. Once you've got that installed, uh, run some command like python dash dash version to make sure it, it, it works. Then go to this page by this fine fellow here, whose name I will not be attempting to pronounce. Download it. And then you might want to look at, at this stuff. It'll, it'll tell you more about it. But the main thing after you've downloaded is you need to go over here, do pip install dash r requirements.txt. Pip should have installed with Python. It might not have, so you might have to manually do that. Uh, and then with this, you will probably run into an issue while installing Torch. It will probably throw an error and not work. So what you're going to want to do is go to PyTorch, get started locally, choose your things here that you want to go for. I choose stable, Windows, pip, Python. This depends on your version of CUDA. Uh, that's NVIDIA graphics card. So right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, go to help. Hold on, let me go to help system information components and then look here to see what version of CUDA you have. I think that's the actual version. So I just chose this one since it was the closest for me. There might be something, some better way to do it, but that's what I did and it worked. So then you copy this, you run it, it should work. And then from that point, you can go back over here and start the demo. So this is the command you'll run a run, run for the demo. Now you need to change this to your data set name. Uh, I'll, I'll quick go over here. So for this, you'll probably want the vox-256.yaml. This I believe is auto downloaded with the, um, this thing. So do this for driving video. This is where you want to put the driving video. I added an in folder and put it as n.mp4. Source image, I put n.png, but you can really put whatever there. Uh, checkpoint, this is where you'll need this, 
download it from the Google thing here. I just placed it in the, the base directory for the first order model like this. So then you run this and it should give you a, a Bakamatai output. Uh, the thing is it will not include audio. Uh, I've got something cursed right now, but we'll just run it. All right, so once it's run, you should end up with result.mp4. You won't have result2, uh, but you should end up with result.mp4. If you open it, it should be something like this, except probably not this, because I was using this on a box of microwave meal stuff for my main channel. Now, if you want something like this, which um, is it with like audio, the video, be sure to like then you'll need to edit demo.py. So for this, first off, to do what I'm gonna need to do, you need to have FFmpeg installed, which I think this uses anyway, and you need to have it set up so you can do FFmpeg command. So FFmpeg, uh, yeah, so you need it, it set up, so just go to FFmpeg, download it, set it up, it's, it's quite nice. Anyway, so what you need here is you want to go up here to the top, add import subprocess, that's important. Go down here, below this part, I believe this is the last line here. You need to go over here and enter command equal ffmpeg dash an space dash i space uh, plus opt dot result video plus dash vn dash i opt driving video uh, map o v map uh, l a dash c v copy and then the name of the output file. You can change something here. I have it hard coded. Then you do subprocess.run command. Uh, you probably don't need this entirely. This stuff is so that it uh, will automatically replace a previous file that it's created. I'll, I'll put these in the description. This you don't need at all. That's just to show that it's finished. Once you've, uh, you've done that, you should be able to, to do it and get out the video. Now, a fun thing you can do is remove this here relative tag. Just, just get rid of it and then run it. And now that, that'll do something spicy. All right, it's finished. Now this is our cursed creation. Without the relative tag, it uh, it tries to uh, create a face here out of the box, which is neat. It, it sort of tries to get the features of the original video in the, the image that you're animating, which is neat. Uh, anyway, you can mess around with the, the different stuff and all that. The, go here and read about it if you want to specifically try experimenting and looking on into all the options and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. If anybody's got any questions on this, if for the whole one person that watched this video, I'll try to answer any comments and walk you through it and help you get it set up. Anyway, thank you for watching. See ya.